If you want to detect, we suggest you select Garrett's 80 Pro. It's the best way to go. Garrett's metal detectors will always protect us. Cause we find things that are Soldier. Thank you, sir. Okay, I've had to turn back to the wind. Uh, now it's not so good. 77 signal. It was 810, it was solid. Now it's gone to 79, it's solid. I'm hoping this is going to be a coin. It could be. It also could be a bottle top. Uh, but they don't normally ring that high, but they can do sometimes. So let's have a look. Where is it? Right there, where there's stones are there and it's 15 centimeters deep it's saying let's see if it's out so it's out it's, now it's 76 it's going to be a bottle top this is it's going to be a bottle top i reckon it could be a full bottle top and there it is and i'm right it's a bottle top what a piece of crap I hate digging. Just got another signal in the mid 80s up to 90. I've dug it and that's it. I don't know where it is. It's a cartridge, I thought so. 50 caliber cartridge, I think. It's not complete. Probably World War II. I'll clean that up. It might, it might look alright because it's not bent, bent. It's not bent and bashed. So. Uh, it's quite in one piece so it might clean up nice that look nice on the shelf and while I'm here I'd like to give uh, a shout out not that it's needed uh, we don't need to shout out for this guy um, but he deserves it it's not because he's needed he deserves it and it's to I detect Harry uh, I'm really enjoying your videos Harry saw the one today about why you dig so many Romans and very nice and professionally put together I like your videos because you don't mess around you're all about history you're all about digging it and telling people about the history of every piece that you find you're not about messing about putting masks on and being stupid and talking stupid and swearing you really are the real deal and you deserve a shout out if you've never heard of I detect I detect with a, with a capital I uh, then go and check out this guy's channel he's great He's great, really good. Good videos, well done Aaron. So I've got a signal here, it weren't deep. Took one shovel for that and I was just gonna check this and I saw that down there, look. Don't know what it is. It's a coin though. Yeah, it's, I think it's a Reichsfennig because it's all scabby, look. When you see them little lumps on it, it's normally Reichsfennig. So that means uh, World War II German coin. Crap, absolutely crap, unless they're very early. You're lucky to get anything off these, but I'll try. If you was on my chat last night, you might remember me telling you, I've only just started experimenting with this AT Pro and different settings. And I put in the uh, Pro pro mode, uh, uh, zero, Pro setting, uh, zero mode, and uh, tried it, and I think I might have just found my first Roman coin on this field. I'm not 100% sure, but that looks different to anything. It's not totally round, and that's what makes me think it might be Roman. I might be wrong, but I'm really happy to find that. Really happy to find that. That's a nice little find, that is. It's old. If it's not Roman, it's still pretty old. It could be 1700s, because it's nothing that I recognise. So that's a nice little find. Beautiful. Thank you. And just while I'm here, I want to give another shout out to a special metal detectorist. That's uh, Peter, or Pete, of Cressy 70's back. This guy knows everything about Roman coins. 
and he was the guy who told me to try it in that setting uh, and I've just tried it Pete and it worked thank you very much I will continue to use that till I get used to it now and I had to turn my back to the wind again and I found another chunky piece of bronze and I like finding these because I know that there's stuff here Alright, I found another coin. I don't believe how that mode just keeps finding coins. And it's a Reichsfennig. Uh, oh, it'll be in good condition this one. Oh, you little cracker, it'll have a swastika on that. Yeah, I think it's on there, look. You little cracker. Nice coin. That's a German Reichsfennig from World War II and the beer swastika right in there where my thumbnail is so I'll have a photo of that let me just try to clean it up a little bit and I've dropped the bloody coin now I don't know where I've dropped it there it is there now you might be able to see this thing don't focus as well as the other one did and um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's cool. I like the way this mode keeps. A live cartridge, and that didn't bring up very much. Only in the 40s, really weird. I, I thought it's worth digging, and it was. That would be Second World War, that is really gone at the top. But uh, it should clean up nice. Well, once again, this Pro, Mir uh, uh, Pro Zero mode has uh, brought the goods up. Look, another coin. And I'm not sure what that is. I don't know. It might be Roman again. I don't think it is. And I don't think the other one is either. They might be quarter or half crotch or something like that. But they're pretty old. I would say early 1800s or late 1700s uh, and I'm really starting to enjoy this uh, pro mode. Thank you Pete, Cressy7 is back for telling me about it. This is what I've got today folks. I've got these two cartridges there which this is before cleaning. That chunk of bronze there. Musket ball, two buttons, one, two, three, four five coins. It's more than what I thought. don't know what they are yet till I clean them up. I think that's a Reichsfennig. That's uh, that's also an early Reichsfennig. I thought one of these were Roman but I'm not so sure now. I'll know better when they're cleaned up. That's not Roman. That possibly may be one but I don't think it is and I don't think that is but I think they're pretty old them too. So let me get them cleaned up and I'll take some stills and I'll show you. Thanks for dropping by and talk to you soon. Hey how you doing? How's everybody doing? Just come out again. Had a great day yesterday and uh, started now 10 minutes into the hunt. Wind's a bit fresh so I don't know if that will affect the... if you can hear it now maybe. But anyway there's the first finder button. So we're going to carry on and we're going to try and get something really nice today. It's uh, absolutely perfect temperature for metal detecting and I'm looking forward to this. So there we go on the return run, don't know what it is, it's a very tiny coin, it's not old. When I say old I mean probably 1920s or 18, late 1800s, somewhere in that range. But uh, it shows that there's coins here which is great and I'm happy about that so I'm going to carry on and um, I'll have soon done two runs. And that's the next find, and that reminds me, looking at that, to give a shout out to Treasure Hunters UK. Uh, Luke, his name is, this guy's digging some great stuff, and you ought to go over on his YouTube channel and have a look what he digs, and he's quite funny as well. The amount of swearing he does, it just makes me laugh. Um, I'm, I might put a link up to one of his videos here. He didn't find much, but it just makes you roar with laughing when he was... Uh, hunting in the snow and I'll put that on I'll put the link down here try to remember so you can have a look at it but go and have a look at his channel subscribe to him he's a new guy he's not been around long uh, great 
uh, and uh, he's trying his best and he's digging some really good stuff. And while I'm at it, there's another guy named Stephen Pettikin who's just started. Hardly got any any subscriptions, I don't know, 21, 22 or 25, something like that. I've subbed his channel. He's in a good area. Uh, he's just starting. Give the guy a break. Go and sub his channel and I'm sure that you'll be delighted with uh, what he comes up with in the future. He's just starting and um, he's going to do well, I think. Anyway, so good luck, Stephen. Here they are cleaned up and uh, no I didn't get a Roman but uh, still interesting nevertheless. So this is a one tenth or five tenth of a Kreutzer, 1885 that one. And this is a quarter Kreutzer I think and it's 1752 so that's a pretty good find. This is unrecognisable both sides can't make anything out on there. It might be something similar and uh, that's a beauty coin lot with the swastika on it 1939 that's also that's similar to that but that's later in the war uh, when Germany couldn't get the metals um, they were being starved of raw materials and so they had to make these from that zinc and uh, and they just turn out crappy and scabby so here's the two things, there were nothing on there, look, I did clean them up for a change, so nothing, there is nothing, absolutely nothing on that one. This is the full one, there is something on that, I can't quite make it out, but never been fired, might look alright, it's shined up that. The two buttons, which are cleaned up, don't know what, what they are and the three bits that I never bothered clean up because I know what they are so that's it folks so thanks for joining me again sorry I didn't bring you any Roman it's looking like we're gonna have to wait till end of this year now before we start getting Roman again because all the fields are tied up and um, like I say we've got some new permissions next year that really will bring us some good stuff I'm, I'm absolutely sure of it so until the next video Thanks for joining me and please subscribe to Cromwell 13649 and just hit that little like button for me will you and also the little button that uh, tells you when I'm bringing another video out. Thanks for joining me again, take care, all the best, bye bye.